Let's pray, and uh, just as we start this amazing time today, will you join me, please? Father, we thank you so much that we can come together today in memory of many who have served and who have given themselves for, um, man, not only what happens here, but even as we go through this weekend across our country. And we're thankful that we can gather here today and celebrate and remember. And uh, we thankful for the men and women who are who are active right now. And we, we thank you for what, um, man, you're doing through them uh, in our city and in our county and then in our country. And, 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 and Lord, we're just so thankful. And we ask today that you would just let this be a day uh, to look back and reflect. And Lord, as we leave here today, we just be reminded of how thankful we should be uh, to live in this great place. We give you praise for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's right. Stand for the singing. If everybody would please stand for the singing of our national anthem by Hannah Sheldon. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Thank you, Hannah. Next up will be the Honorable Mayor David Allaire. Mayor. Thank you, Commander. Good afternoon, everyone. It's wonderful to be with you today on this most solemn of holidays, uh, your Memorial Day weekend. I have some very brief remarks. I think we can all agree these are challenging times for law enforcement here in our nation. I think that's true for the officers in metropolitan areas as well as rural America. It's true for those in leadership positions as well as the rank and file. Every day we ask our police to not only answer the call to protect us, but to carry out all sorts of other services to our community. Mental health counseling, alcohol and drug abuse services, family mediation, the list goes on and on. And at the same time, the scrutiny placed on our police is intense and it's unforgiving. That's why services such as this is so important. It's important to recognize and remember those that have come before us and to celebrate and honor those serving today. It's been my privilege to serve this city as your mayor and to oversee such a tremendous organization as the Rutland City Police Department. 
And one of the re main reasons this organization is so highly thought of by our community is not only due to our current membership and leadership, but especially to those that have come before us. Every year, and every year, it's great to see families come together to remember and to honor those who have served and have laid the groundwork for such an outstanding department that we have today. We are all very proud of you. We are all very proud of the families that we come together to celebrate and to remember and to promise we will never forget. So thank you again for your service, all of you, those who are with us and those who have gone before us. Enjoy the day and God bless all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. My turn. Only a few pages, okay? I stand before you today both honored and greatly humbled when I consider the years of service represented here. Many of you I know and have worked with in my 20 years of law enforcement, but there are also unfamiliar faces, as well as family, friends, all here to representing police officers who are with us in spirit and in memory. Being in law enforcement has always been a difficult job. During the last 20 to 30 years, the job of a police officer has changed so dramatically that today it barely resembles the occupation that it was in the 70s and 80s and even at the turn of the century. Advances in technology have provided improved surveillance, body cameras, tasers, Narcan, more efficient ways of reporting and communicating, and faster, more precise investigative evidence analysis. The shifts in political and cultural climate have birthed new programs for rehabilitation and recovery, efforts to reduce homelessness and proactive crime prevention. It seems that policies and legislation, sometimes directly opposing each other, are newly imposed or renounced so frequently and quickly, we need to refresh our emails and our Twitter feeds between the time of arrest and the time of booking just to keep up. Officers are required to assimilate to every single change regardless of whether they agree to its efficacy or essentiality. Law enforcement requires more daily education and continued training than most other professions. This often demands a revamping of thought and a completely new approach to crime, hours upon hours of instruction, reprogramming muscle memory, and humbly and dutifully accepting every new challenge, every new idea, every new approach with integrity and fidelity. When officers apply this re-education on duty, they are required to act as psychologists, pharmacists, mediators, counselors, detectives, lawyers, and confidants, many times all within the same call. Regardless of the type of call they are responding to, an officer spends the day building relationships with people he serves. Time is spent listening to the unheard suffering, the anxious and the fearful, encouraging the downtrodden, treating the struggling addicts with dignity and compassion, acknowledging and showing kindness to the unlovable and the building trust and loyalty within the community. Police officers weave an intricate web of support, safety, accountability, connecting all members to each other and to the community at large. This task requires incredible restraint, genuine empathy and supernatural humility. The police officers here in Rutland mindfully pursue this mission and forge those relationships every day. And yes, our community is unlike others across the nation. The residents of our community show support to our police department. Our vision and engagement have proven effective many times in peacefully resolving instances of violence and crime. The events of the past year have taken a toll on every law enforcement agent in our, in our nation. Our once esteemed profession has become unfairly demeaned and degraded and it often feels as if the world is watching in scorn for evidence of our final eradication. Only that day will not come. Because one thing about being a police officer always remains the same. We are the thin blue line between harmony and chaotic lawlessness. The officers that we remember here today fully understood that to be true as well. From the moment they swore the oath and then throughout every interaction preceding, they selfishly responded to every problem or broken society through their way in order to keep others safe. They bravely walked towards danger, fully knowing the risks of harm or even loss of their own life could lie ahead. Officers have no knowledge of how quickly things might escalate 
what mental illnesses they may face, what physical or verbal chastisement they may be forced to patiently and professionally endure. They go anyway. Ordinary men and women doing extraordinary things, giving of themselves totally and unconditionally every single day. They are heroes. They are not simply one-time heroes, but they find the motivation and endurance to remain heroic every day for years on end with little to no reward, recognition, or personal gain. Becoming a heroic officer is not something one chooses to do. It is a calling that is answered out of duty.